so next up, really excited to have with us here today a, a, a one of the leaders in digital health when it comes to this area of uh, trying to understand uh, how digital technologies are improving uh, patient outcomes. And with that, <clears throat> we have a, uh, a leader, this uh, someone from a company called Vicert, who has been working uh, in the digital health space for over a decade and has uh, a new solution that is really built around disrupting what's happening in the, uh, some of the more traditional healthcare ecosystems. And uh, Voya, welcome to the symposium. First, tell everyone where you are and, uh, and what, what's going on there. Hi, Stan. Uh, it's, it's very good to see you. Hi, everybody. And uh, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, so I'm in San Francisco at my home. Uh, a home office, and um, yeah, I've been traveling. Uh, last week, I was in Slovenia for work, uh, snuck in a bike ride. That felt good. Uh, lovely country out there, uh, but back back home now. That's fantastic. A beautiful country indeed. And, and again, uh, so tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about uh, Vicert. Uh, I started business. Uh, I started Vicer twenty years ago. In an all this time, we've been focusing on building digital health and health IT solutions. We worked with uh, some of the largest payers and the provider systems in, in, in US, but also with the early stage um, startups and companies in, uh, in the healthcare. Um, and um, really what I, I think what, what, we have, what we have done and realized is, is how, um, how unique position uh, we are in, in engaging on the projects of that kind where we bring the uh, deep dom domain knowledge and, and the small and agile teams to be able to deliver um, value much faster than, than what we have seen in, in the market so far. That's brilliant. And when you think about what's happening in digital healthcare and you think about what's happening in healthcare uh, as well, talk a little bit more about... Um, What's been a particular interest for you and for Vicer in that ecosystem? Uh, yeah, I mean, two, I would say two, two things have happened over the last 10 years that, that, that we saw as a major, major trends, mega trends. One is that we have seen a commoditization or, 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 or on tap availability of, uh, of a cloud infrastructure. Uh, so the compute uh, storage database that has uh, um, allowed certain things to happen that would were unimaginable 10, 10 plus years ago. That's one. The other is that uh, consumer devices and, and, and the uh, like wearables or, or consumer medical devices have uh, proliferated and become very available for uh, not just the patients, but the consumers or basically pre-patients. And, and I think those two things have provided a platform that so much that, that can uh, that can be uh, we can do so much more with, and and uh, I, I think that that's kind of where on on top of these two is where where we come in and 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 are really able to do something special for both the disruptors and and the new entrants into the health uh, health tech and digital health ecosystems, but also for established players who are looking to expand their reach and and impact in the market. Yeah, and that that's a big component right now, right? Because it's literally the. The need to expand reach has never been more important, and that's a key component of what we're seeing. And again, uh, great chats uh, coming through here as well, and uh, great questions for this. So please do, again, uh, uh, feel free to either enter your questions in the Q&A box or the chat box or through LinkedIn, just uh, through my LinkedIn uh, as well. Uh, and so when you look at this, uh, this the digital health ecosystem, and you look at the uh, uh, the trends that are occurring, uh, as you mentioned, again, this cloud computing, massive, and then obviously pandemic. Uh, what are some of the challenges that you're seeing with some of the folks and some of the tech adoption issues that we're seeing uh, from the HitLab perspective? Yeah, well, uh, I mean, uh, 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 maybe I can build on, on, on the point that, I've, that I just uh, uh, did about these two Two forces becoming available for to us, and and I think the the um, our ability to build solutions and the products on top of those two, like to to leverage those two, has 
I, I feel has been limited and, and has impacted adoption. Because like on, on one hand, um, um, it, it does require special domain knowledge. It does require understanding of a regulatory, legal, HIPAA, PHI, various aspects of how to like just the tech stack around health uh, related software one and then two from the UX UI or, or even uh, 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 engagement measuring and instrumenting application for that. Those are some unique skills that, that what we see is that disruptors don't have. They come with their special sauce, but they don't know how to build machinery to take the special sauce out. One, two, established players have their big core that, that has differentiated them, but how to extend it is a challenge leveraging these two. And, and I think that's, that's super exciting. And you kind of, we don't see many who, who have this focus in, in kind of being able to engage in this way. And, and you know, we are over the last uh, two, two uh, quarters, we have worked with three companies for whom we were able to go from idea to uh, revenue in under four months. So, so it's like, leveraging all of that out there to basically get to market, get to customers and consumers and deliver value is something we haven't done as much as, as much as we could, I think, or should. So, so that, that's interesting to me. And, and that's where we're by is playing. You know what, that, that's a brilliant comment there. And one of the questions I just picked up through my LinkedIn box thing, and I just dropped in my LinkedIn chat as well for folks who want to connect or even ask questions now is around this, uh, this, you know, this thing that a lot of our audience uh, who are digital health companies, they're, they're trying to uh, make their business case to the bigger stakeholders, big hospitals, big health plans, big life science companies. And they're, they're trying to understand how they break through to do that. What do they say to message these folks? Uh, and, and again, what you just mentioned was empathy. And maybe that's a part of your answer here. But one of the questions that came through is what should they be saying to these folks to let them know that hey, they they've got a good product, and 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 they they too should be uh, you know considered as as these companies are transforming digitally. What are you seeing as some of the hot button words that these companies should be using with big stakeholders to break through the crowd and and you know break through the <laughs> the emails or whatever it might noise. be noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, this is this is a. The, so, you know, loaded question, billion dollar question. But I mean, one thing for sure is um, uh, uh, aiming to, um, to uh, fit into existing workflows. It's very difficult to offer uh, like a point solution that says here, I have something, but I'm standing out here and you need to change everything you're doing to touch to, to make use of this and get value. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's it's really a leap for for uh, established system basically. So so however uh, however one can can navigate their path to uh, become part, to to be or or get into existing flow and add value there that way so that people users and the organizations can stay in in their swim lane basically. It makes that adoption much more easier. Maybe one and two, the, these sales cycles are usually one, you know, 12, 18 months. It's, it's never easy to, to get through, um, uh, through the larger, larger players. So uh, that, that would be off the top of my head. Okay. Yeah. Really helpful. And, uh, you know, appreciate the, uh, the off the cuff extemporaneous question coming in from the audience. Uh, again, it's fun. It's, it's, fun. A, it's a great audience. A lot of, a lot of interaction as well. And, um, you know, again, one of the things that, um, uh, you know, just kind of last question here, uh, is around this idea of, uh, the, you know, some of the regulatory issues that you've seen again, Vicer has been really, really neck deep into, uh, working with life science companies and health systems and others all over the world. What, what are some of the, the regulatory challenges that you see as your as your company's growing and as you're helping a lot of these companies through those challenges yeah i'll actually take it take a sort of question from from the other side i think that what we've seen through uh, during the pandemic is that some things that were unimaginable or that we plan to see in five years out happened in five weeks and and uh uh, uh regulators uh, made the changes uh that i hope will 
uh, remain after the pandemic is done because those those changes enable certain things that we talked about we haven't haven't seen particularly on a sort of telehealth the, the remote patient monitoring uh, aside so so uh, um, I, I hope that sometimes it is a it is a regulatory sometimes it's actually a social acceptance of, of a change and and maybe you know silver lining in some of the stuff that we have had to go through over the last two years um, will be or 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 may become um, a, a more uh, better access and more adoption to um, to care health health care that we have uh, been offered um, due to pandemic. Well, this is fantastic, and again. Uh, you know, really appreciate just the tremendous, tremendous insights you have here, Voya, over the, what and how digital health adoption is working and, and all the good work that Advisor is doing to help present that. And again, everybody, if you could uh, be sure to check out the LinkedIn case study that we just launched in the, the chat box and connect with uh, Voya on what he's doing, just, uh, just a tremendous way to help you get connected into a lot of the big ecosystem stakeholders. Thank you, Voya. Thank you very much, Stan. Thanks, everybody.